this iPhone feature is going to completely change your life as a machinist or a woodworker or a human. I've been using this magnifier for taking measurements in the shop for as long as I've had this iPhone, which is as long as I've had iOS 10, and it's a new feature in iOS 10. I'm going to show you how to use it to measure things that are almost impossible to measure otherwise. Most of you will probably remember when I made a bolt action pin similar to this one in a previous video and I cut these little rings for a grip and I now need to measure how wide each of those individual rings is. Not how far apart they are but how wide each one is. And of course they're just way too tiny to get into with a caliper. They're too shallow for a feeler gauge and they're too small to see properly to use a ruler. So how can I measure those? So I'm going to go into Settings, General, Accessibility, Magnifier, and make sure this switch is on. Now that uses the Accessibility shortcut, so you just have to triple click the Home button and it opens up this magnifier. As you can see with it zoomed in this far, even with optical image stabilization, it's still a little shaky, so I usually just set it on top of a can to hold it steady. The iPhone 7 camera, I'm not sure about the others, but the iPhone 7 camera can focus at a minimum distance of about three and a half inches. So your can needs to be at least that tall. I have a precision ruler clamped down to a piece of wood just to bring it up to a better elevation and I can move the pen as necessary. Now each little mark on this ruler is ten thousandths of an inch. So there's a hundred marks in one inch. Now I'll zoom in. I can easily see now that those rings in my pen are basically right on ten thousandths in width. And I already knew there was a ring every fifty thousandths, so that leaves us forty in between the rings. And in case that isn't easy enough to see, I can use this little filters button to bring up some sliders. And these will adjust my brightness and contrast. In some cases it might be easier to put some filters on it. Here's white and blue, yellow and blue, grayscale, yellow and black, red and black, just depending on what you're using this for. Those can be useful. You can also invert the colors if that helps. You can turn on the flashlight with the little flashlight button right there, although I think that usually does more harm than good. And the little lock button locks your focus. And the shutter button in the middle will basically freeze the picture right there. The nice thing about this is it does not save the picture, it just freezes it and as soon as you tap that again, it's gone. Hey Jer, why don't you just use a magnifying glass? Partly because I'm a millennial, but more importantly because, as you can see, the magnifying glass just can't see anywhere close to what the iPhone magnifier can see. I'm not even zoomed in all the way. I can zoom in the rest of the way, I can move this over to one edge, see exactly where I'm at there. Scoot it back to this edge. That rivet is 280 thousandths across. So even though when you zoom in that much you get kind of into the potato vision territory, it is still a very precise way to measure things. And I hope you'll give it a try next time you have something that's hard to measure. If you don't have an iPhone or if you have an older iPhone, there are third party apps available that do the same thing. It's just kind of neat that this is built into the new ones. So if you found something useful in this rambling, then if you've ever watched a YouTube video before, you know what I'll say next. So just go do it. Thanks for watching.